Have you ever heard of the northern short-tailed shrew? It's a small but tenacious creature in North America's wilderness, battling daily to survive in a harsh world. Join us as we explore the life of this pint-sized warrior and its essential role in its ecosystem. Physical Appearance the northern short-tailed shrew, scientifically known as Blarina brevicauda, holds the title of the largest member in the Blarina genus. Its primary habitat is in the northeastern part of North America. Now, what makes this shrew stand out is its unique distinction as one of the very few venomous mammals around. When it comes to size, these shrews measure anywhere from 108 to 140 millimeters in total length, with their tails accounting for about 18 to 32 millimeters of that measurement. In terms of weight, they typically fall in the range of 15 to 30 grams. Interestingly, males are a tad larger than females. As for their appearance, their fur is quite distinctive. It's thick and feels velvety to the touch. The color can vary with options like black, brownish black, or silvery gray on their back, while their belly fur tends to be lighter and grayer. What's intriguing is that they go through a seasonal change in their coat. They switch from a shorter and paler summer coat around October and November to thicker winter fur from February through July. Another interesting fact about these shrews is that they have three well-developed scent glands, one on each side of their body and one on their underside. While it's believed that these glands might be used for marking territories, it's worth noting that their sense of smell isn't all that sharp, which adds to the intrigue surrounding this species, habitat. These shrews are pretty adaptable when it comes to their choice of habitat. They're equally at home in disturbed or undisturbed environments. This means you can spot them in places like grasslands, old fields, fence rows, marshy areas, deciduous and coniferous forests, and even household gardens. However, they do have their preferences. They like spots with moisture, lots of leaves on the ground, or dense plant cover. On the flip side, they tend to steer clear of places where the forest has been burned, and they'll make a quick exit from clear-cut areas. Diet. Now let's talk about their eating habits. These little fellas have hearty appetites. They chow down on up to three times their weight in food every day. Their diet is quite diverse. While they eat small amounts of subterranean fungi and seeds, they're mostly carnivorous. Insects, earthworms, voles, snails, and even other shrews are on their menu. Interestingly, they consume vertebrates more frequently than other shrews. These shrews are most active during the few hours after sunset, but they're also out and about on cloudy days. They need a source of water due to their high evaporative water loss, but they also get water from the food they eat. The saliva of the northern short-tailed shrew contains a calocrine-like protease, which they use to paralyze and overpower their prey. This toxin is strong enough to take down small animals, sometimes even larger than the shrew itself. It results in painful bites if humans try to handle the shrew. The venomous saliva is secreted from submaxillary glands and flows along a groove formed by their lower incisors, delivering it to their prey. Strangely enough, the toxin's structure is strikingly similar to the one produced by the Mexican beaded lizard, which developed its toxin independently from the same precursor protein. Energetics. Talking about energy. These shrews are survival experts, especially during cold winters in temperate regions. They can pretty much eat anything they can get their tiny paws on, which helps them survive when food is scarce. Their comfort zone, in terms of temperature, is between 25 and 33 degrees Celsius, meaning they don't have to burn extra energy to keep their bodies warm when it's within this range. Their average body temperature hovers around 38 to 38.5 degrees Celsius. But here's the catch. Anything above 35 Celsius can be lethal for them. During winter, they need to eat about 43% more food to keep their metabolism up and maintain body temperature under cold conditions. A neat trick they've got is adjusting their daily routines with the seasons. In the colder winter months, they're more active earlier in the evening but stay up later into the night during the summer. This change helps them save energy because it aligns with the varying daily temperatures and sunlight. They also have other winter survival tactics, like making cozy line nests to conserve heat, storing food in case of shortages, and foraging below the leaf litter or snow where it's warmer. Behavior. 
These shrews are a bit different from other shrews. They're not big fans of hanging out above ground. They'd rather tunnel below the surface, through the leaf litter, or right where the snow meets the ground. They have short bursts of intense activity, lasting about five minutes, followed by longer periods of rest. In total, they're active for only about 16% of a 24-hour day. When it's time for some shut-eye, they construct nests underground or under logs, decorating them with leaves or meadow vulfur. These nests are tidy. They keep their waste outside in a designated latrine area. They also have special spots in their burrow system for storing food. These shrews are usually loners, and when they do encounter others of their kind, things can get pretty aggressive. They've got various displays and vocalizations to keep potential rivals at bay. If you introduce a new shrew to an area where one's already established, it usually doesn't end well for the newcomer. Reproduction. When it comes to making more shrews, the action takes place between March and September, although most births happen either early or late in that period. Male shrews have a unique approach to courting their lady shrews. They make clicking sounds. During the romantic encounter, the male and female get physically locked together, with the female leading the way. After this shrew romance, gestation lasts for 21 to 24 days, and then comes the exciting part, the birth of six to eight baby shrews. These little ones rely on their mom's milk for up to 25 days before they're ready to be weaned. Usually two litters are born in a single season, but in some cases there might be three. Females take their jobs seriously. While the young shrews are nursing, the female reinforces the nest and becomes more active to meet her increased nutritional needs. Baby shrews are born blind, hairless, and weigh less than a gram, but they grow up fast. Some can become sexually mature in just two to three months. Those born in the spring grow up quicker than those born later in the season and might even start their own shrew families in the same year they were born. Their baby fur looks a lot like the adult summer fur and they shed it when they reach adult size. Predation Life for the northern short-tailed shrew isn't all sunshine and rainbows. They face some serious risks out there. To avoid becoming someone's dinner, they usually hide under vegetation, soil, leaf litter, or snow. Sadly, their survival rate isn't very high. Only 6% of a group of marked shrews made it to the next year, and a staggering 90% died during winter, most likely due to the cold. These shrews have quite a list of predators, including trout, snakes, raptors, canids like foxes and wolves, cats, mustelids like weasels, skunks, raccoons, and opossums. Interestingly, it seems that other mammals are put off by the musky odor produced by the shrew's scent glands. Conservation. Now in the big picture of conservation, the northern short-tailed shrew is doing pretty well. It's considered a species of least concern on the IUCN red list. Why? Because they're widespread and abundant, and their population isn't on the decline. They're holding their own out there in the wild. 